feels like that part of the year where those cold winter days just don't seem to want to end. And although we've got outside and enjoyed the outdoors as much as we can, here in the Pacific Northwest, there is a surplus of those rainy gray days. You definitely spend a lot more days watching Netflix or YouTube and waiting for the warm months to come. And even though spring, summer are just around the corner, we figured we'd get out for one more epic winter adventure. We all love the snow so much, in fact, that we're gonna go sleep in it tonight. So follow along for another adventure and let's see what we can get up to. Ready to put your snowshoes on? You gonna go sleep in the snow? You gotta poop first? Okay. leaving the comfort of our little home on wheels. We have about a four kilometer trip into the back country here and we're going to find a little spot to sleep for the night. We've got these big webbed shoes that we're wearing to get us through all this snow. There is about eight, nine feet of snow. The, uh, the little hut just before the start of the trail is completely covered in snow. But perfect conditions for some snowshoeing. So let's start moving and find a spot to camp for the night. What are you doing, bud? <sighs> Guys, what are you doing? Get out of the snow. Let's go. In the summertime, right here along the trail, there are thousands of blueberries. Last fall, we were here hiking and we stopped here and we picked a bunch. So actually there's a boardwalk under all this snow and yeah, blueberries. Those would taste really good right now. How you doing so far? Good. Yeah. It's a perfect day. I thought it would be a lot colder and I am rather warm right now. <laughs> it's nice in the sunshine's just like, yeah, you pretty much just start sweating as soon as you start walking, but really can't complain about anything. It's just perfect out here. Awesome day. Really good conditions. Tons of snow out here. Yeah, this is awesome. My legs are shaking right now. I just stopped for a couple seconds and I'm like, ooh, I feel that. But you're using muscles you don't typically always use. So I'm feeling it right now. Yeah. But I'd have to say I'm looking pretty good in my new pack that Kyle got me. Yeah. This early birthday present. Way comfier than that other <laughs> Amazon backpack. Yeah, in the uh, summertime, Alana used my old pack, just a cheap one off Amazon, and it was, I can imagine, not very comfortable for her. It was just not fitted and way too big. <laughs> the struggle is real. A <laughs> look of defeat. <laughs> Nothing fits properly. <laughs> this hurts. These are too tight. <laughs> My shoulder, everything's on my shoulders. <laughs> How many? I need to get uh, my own bag. You can do this. Yeah. <laughs> can I add something to that? <laughs> yeah. Not only did it not fit me properly, this guy here put a can of beans <laughs> in my bag to carry. Like. Did I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, we made a good meal out of it, but it just, just that extra weight you don't really need to carry. But I did it. Smiles, dirt, and Maybe some tears. Yeah, one of the first rules of lightweight backpacking, don't bring any canned goods. Yeah, you're just testing me. Like, 
this. <laughs> yeah. It's like a way too big bag on a tiny person. Yeah. Building character. That's what it is. <laughs> right? Yeah. We're well equipped this time around. Yeah. And there are no cans of beans in either of our bags, so. No. We have <laughs> lots of snacking to do. <laughs> I'm really about, excited for that. Yeah, in about an hour or two. Okay, let's continue. So to add some scale to how much snow there actually is up here, you can see the railing of the boardwalk under this massive pile of snow we're walking on. It's quite narrow too, it's a bit of a trip walking over. like some previous campers have already flattened some spots out for us, so that's good news. <laughs> you guys can hear that on the camera, but Elena is doing the owl call across the lake and they're responding. Building our little snow fort here for our tent. Someone was kind enough to dig out this little trench here already, but we're just evening it out some spots. Snowshoes. We scoped it out a little bit and it looks like this spot and the spot right beside us are the only ones that are right on the lake with the view. So yeah. we're happy we're here and getting set up. Yeah, we got the waterfront location. So for those of you that are new here, my name is Kyle. I'm Milana. And we are Way of the Roads and today's road involves a whole lot of snow. <laughs> and some camping out in that snow. And we've been looking forward to doing this trip for quite a while now. We haven't done a whole lot of backcountry camping because the weather hasn't been super ideal, but... And this is our first time camping in the snow. Mm -hmm. In a pile of snow. We're very excited. Got all the gear. We have uh, some friends that hooked us up with some good winter gear. So don't worry, mom and dad, we're not gonna freeze <laughs> to death. We're prepared and it's gonna be a good time. And the weather is beautiful. This excess vitamin D is much needed. It has been a long rainy season here on Vancouver Island. So yeah, we're going to soak up the sun and get our last little dose of the winter here. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, I think it's time to start snacking because I worked up quite an appetite. <laughs> yeah, we do. yeah, there's some salami and cheese and wraps in the backpack that are screaming my name. So let's do it. Let's do it. Stop eating them. Okay. Alana says, I'll go grab the bags. Grabs one, swings it I too far. I swung it over way too fast <laughs> and just ate it. Okay, I'm good. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. 400 a night. <laughs> that's what they're going for these days, right? Oh, that's cheap, eh? <laughs> Are you filming your... Yeah, we have a, a YouTube channel, so we usually go on adventures and cool. document the whole thing, so... What's it called? Uh, Way of the Roads. Okay. Yeah, we do a lot of like road trips and okay. camping and hiking and stuff. Fun. Yeah. yeah. And your dog is just awesome. Just yeah. <laughs> He's, yeah, he's a loaf. He just goes along with, he goes with the flow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's good. He's like, hurry up and make the bed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a, he was already laying in here earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what's on his mind. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your weekend. Yeah. Thanks, you Cheers, too. Guys. Bye. There, I think we just made a new subscriber. Stop. So I won't ask you guys to subscribe right now because that's for the end of the video. But I mean, since we're on the topic, 
it's totally up to you. <laughs> Where did that go? He's up there. <laughs> I don't know if I got that on tape, but it literally just went straight over my head. I think it tried to land on my camera. I'm pretty sure the little fluffy dead cat on my microphone looked like a bird, and it wanted to come sit next to the dead bird, but... Wow, that was cool. Haze, pale ale. Sure. One. Perfect. Make you a nice backrest. So kind of you. Perfect. Couple of lazy boys. We're lounging. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> Right in the snow. Well, we built a little snow fort and had a little snack, and now we're just gonna take a take a little nap. Mm. Mm. We got in, set up our camp, and pretty much just snacked and napped for most of the afternoon. We uh, met a pretty awesome young lad. His name is Chilson. Seems like a pretty nice guy. He doesn't really say much, but. He uh, just moved in from New Zealand, so he's the only other one camping here tonight, so we'll share the spot with him. You hear your ears ringing because it's so quiet outside. But Alan and I were just talking. Last weekend we tried making a video for you guys, of course, and we went to one of our favorite spots, a nice little wreck site right by the ocean. The herring spawn just happened on Vancouver Island, so it's a pretty awesome spectacle to see all the wildlife that flock to these areas. And so anyways, we set up camp, we got there fairly early, and we thought we had the place to ourselves. Alan and I got our chairs, went down to the water because it was low tide, and decided to have a drink. A couple hours later, we were relaxing, and this truck full of people show up and decided to park, not the campsite over, but directly beside us. Like, it was a big open area, I guess, but there was other spots, really nice spots, that they could have went to. But no, they decided to go right directly beside us. And they have every right to be there, just like we do. So, I mean, technically they weren't doing anything wrong, but it came down to the, the etiquette, I guess. The camper's etiquette. Yeah, it's just because there are so many spots where the rec site is, and they chose to go right beside us. So it kind of was like, they're almost like on top of our site. And I had just gone back from Edmonton, and we just kind of wanted like a quiet night, and we wanted to film a video for you guys and it was just a little challenging to do that so we had to make the decision like should we just stay here and suck it up or it's only noon so we can just leave here and maybe find somewhere else to go so we decided to pack up our chairs and find another spot however we tried going down a couple logging roads and defeated by the snowy icy roads again mm -hmm. and then the weather just kind of got a little crummy it was rainy and a little dreary and so we were at another awesome spot that we've camped at before and we were kind of <laughs> deciding again like should we stay here should we just go home and we just went home we're like we'll just try again another day it just wasn't our time and yeah we uh still got to relax at home which was really nice yeah yeah i mean that's all part of it i guess sometimes you know the videos follow through and they go really well and then other times they don't but it is just the way it goes it's the way of the road i think from what happened last weekend we're being spoiled this weekend and we're very grateful for it so exciting things happening in the spring in the summer really big trip planned for next month so definitely stay tuned for that and you'll probably notice something a little bit different a little bit different yeah. for that trip i think yeah. we're gonna save it for that we're gonna save it for that we're gonna yeah save it for that. we we've only told our family 
yeah so far mm -hmm. and we this just happened yesterday yeah so we're very <laughs> we're excited still taking it in for our new bundle of joy yes yeah. so stay tuned for that because we're going to show you guys that on our yeah. next trip yes <laughs> so it's really exciting i was going to save this for tomorrow but yes we have a very exciting new addition to our lives i hope you heard that we have an owl friend too so cool i've never heard an owl just out here listening to owls and watching <laughs> snow melt. And feeding birds. And there's nothing better. Having birds land on your head. I'm pretty sure this got left in the snow for a little bit too long. So I have no light. <laughs> but we're hoping this is going to work. I have my ferro rod here. Watch out, buddy. Excuse me. Can you move your nose? <laughs> we can eat tonight. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's put some snow in there. And now we wait. There you go, Chilson. I won't be needing these anymore. You seem like the type of guy to wear your sunglasses that night. All right, dinner is served. I'm having chicken Alfredo, mm -hmm. dehydrated meal. And we found quite the score <laughs> at Walmart. What, what's it called? Tikka it Marsala? Is yeah, it's just like an Indian uh, soup. It's like Mr. Noodles, but the, with Indian spices. Yeah, it's. I've had a little bite already. It's actually really good. It's but awesome. It's going to take us eons to eat because, as you probably could have guessed, we don't have proper utensils. I get the knife, and Alana has the knife cover. So So here we go. <laughs> it's, always, it's always the cover. And we don't have our spatula no. this time. You always make it work. And I was like, we'll just make, we'll construct a, a, a makeshift spoon out of a piece of bark. But every time you go close to these trees, there's these huge tree wells. So you don't want to step anywhere near them. So I can't really reach over and grab a piece of bark off the tree. One, it's not good for the tree. And I don't feel like falling in tree wells tonight. So I do think Kyle doesn't even need the knife. I think he could just slurp it back. But boys will be boys. And Diesel had his supper already. You have soup in your beard. Okay. <laughs> okay. A couple of crunchies in there. As soon as that sun went over the mountain, it got cold right away. We'll probably stay out. Oh. Eat our dinner and then probably get into the tent for the night. Chilson, you hungry, bud? Let's see if you want some. What are you wearing, buddy? I've got Rue's jacket on. Is that your buddy's jacket that he lent you? <laughs> Rue's a bit taller and bigger. So it fits a little oversized on Diesel, but it'll work for tonight. Go ahead. Go ahead, bud. In the house. Get in there. In the house. He's like, God, no. <laughs> no he like Not again. Look at this little bundle of joy. Can't really see in the light, but got some sun today. Face is a little red. Elena was saying this tent always seems much bigger on the outside, and then once you get in, with the three of us, it's a little, little tight. But she's always taking up like all of our space. <laughs> yeah. We always manage, but yeah, as, as you can see, this is this is what we deal with. <laughs> so. It's a process. Once Alana's in her bag, I'll weasel my way into mine after that. So. Yes. 
excited to get into my sleeping yeah. bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's still pretty light outside. It's getting dark. A little bit of extra daylight because it was daylight savings time last weekend. So Yeah, it's almost 8. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just starting to get dark right now. Yeah, we are going to hang out, stay warm, hunker down, and get a good night's sleep, hopefully. Someone's not helping me. <laughs> <laughs> We've asked Diesel to get up a few times, and he's not budging. <laughs> <laughs> he's very comfortable. I'm in my sleeping bag liner, and I just need to get into my actual sleeping bag. And every time we try and weasel it out of underneath Diesel, he <laughs> just sinks even lower. Like a big rock. <laughs> Hang on, buddy. I'm sorry. He's he just wants to put his chin down. <laughs> This is heartbreaking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're in for now. We're in. Oh. He's over good. Oh boy. It was only about a five kilometer hike to get into where we're camping right now. But just not being used to snowshoes and trudging through the snow. Um, yeah. yeah, it was, it was tiring. <laughs> yeah, it was a good trek in. And then we did fall asleep. We had like a little nap this afternoon, a little siesta. Yeah. Was... So we got some sun. Like I woke up feeling pretty groggy, so we must have been out for a, a little while. Yeah, you can see how red my face is. Mm -hmm. It feels a little little tender. Yeah, I think I feel extra tired from the sun too. Just being outside all day, so it's nice to get all cozied up. Yeah, lots of fresh air. But we're going to hang out for a little bit and probably fall asleep, get some rest. But yeah, overall, good day. Yeah. All right, good night, world. Good night, Chelson. <clears throat> good morning. Looking forward to putting these nice wet socks back on. Getting out of my nice dry clothing. But I've had to pee for the last like six hours, so it's time to get up. Got our coffee on the stove. Really nice morning. Not a lot of wind. It's actually not too cold. Um, yeah, we were really warm. We had the proper gear and everything. So yeah, we stayed cozy and it was actually a really enjoyable experience. So yeah, still really glad we got out here. We're just gonna enjoy the morning. Have a few cups of coffee. Guzzle them down because we don't have proper mugs. So it'll just get cold really fast. So the joys of winter camping. Morning coffee with a view, but you've got about a five minute window to drink your coffee because it's too hot and then you have your window and then it's too cold. So Right now the cup is hot, but my coffee is drinkable. <sighs> so I'm just sucking yeah. it up and going for it because I want my coffee. <laughs> yeah, the aluminum or whatever it's made out of just holds heat very well. Mm -hmm. The water, not so much. Yours is in the snow, so okay. Mm -hmm. catch prob your window. <laughs> I should probably, yeah. That's, good, right? That's the window, yeah. Diesel's still cozied up in here. He's laying with us right now. <laughs> the whiskey jacks are back. As soon as we woke up, they started flying around the tent and on the snow bags near us. So and I already have the trail mix ready for them. Yeah, we've <laughs> got the, the peanuts ready for them. Yeah, They're waiting, you can see them in the trees. They're our best friends now. And then Diesel like right away was like, hey, let's go, let's get me out of this yeah. tent. <laughs> and it was just like no time to think. And I was like, okay, like, like you know summertime when you just get a tent and you just like throw your flip flops on and you're like you're good to go yeah. it's like hold on i have to change my pants put my snow pants on put my boots on tie them up put my contacts in so i can see yeah well i just threw my glasses on and what happened was i put them on they were all fogged up i'm yeah. like oh man i can't see yeah. so i clean those off and like this guy is just prancing around the tent mm -hmm. so it's like you wake up and you're like game on like you had to go so fast mm -hmm. so it's nice to i feel like we're doing it backwards we're like yeah. we were doing all the things and now we can like relax and, yeah and hang out so yeah. that's, that's just our lives this morning <laughs> the window is closing i 
I need proper winter boots because I'm just wearing my hikers and it's fine when you're moving around, but as soon as you stop, everything starts to freeze. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> He's like, you've been giving all the peanuts to the birds and none to me. Bye, Chilson. <laughs> Bye, Chilson. Thanks for the company. We'll catch you next time, dude. It's that point in the hike where you start talking about all the food you're gonna eat. Once you're back at the car, only another kilometer to go. Home. How are you feeling? Oh, a million bucks or what? Light as a feather. <laughs> All right, we made it. We made it. That was a really fun trek. It was challenging. It's actually really warm today, so we were sweating. <laughs> yeah, we're so hot. So, yeah. It was about an hour and 40 minutes back in and just about five kilometers. So probably about five in, five out. So yeah. solid 10K. Yeah, something about trekking through the snow with snowshoes and a huge pack on. You definitely feel really accomplished by the end of it. And this is a trip we've been looking forward to for a long time. So we're really glad we got out for a night. And we were saying as we were packing up, we uh, definitely would have enjoyed, I think, to do a couple more nights just with the proper gear and, you know, maybe bring a sled next time with some extra stuff just to make it extra comfortable for us. But until next time. Yeah, there's so many lakes that you can camp at around here. So yeah. we'll have to do that next time for sure. Yep. Just hanging out with a hot chocolate and we're going to wrap this episode up here. So thank you guys so much again to all of you that watch these videos. We really appreciate it. Stay tuned for that big news we have coming up in our next video. Really looking forward to this one. You guys have yourselves a great week and we will see you in the next video. Bye. All right, let's go eat. Do you, do you hear that? No. Haha. <laughs> yeah. I forgot Alana brought a chocolate bar into the tent. <laughs> mm. So now we have to eat it. <laughs> Bears are still sleeping, right? Mmm. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> Nothing like cold chocolate to break your teeth. Ow. Get her. <laughs>